What are you, YouTube? This is Geostealth R1, and hopefully I can make this video for you faster than uh, usual. So, primarily somebody asked me, he was like, look, um, did you install the Metal Gears onto the diff? I said, well, I did it into the, one of the TRX-4Ms, but I did not do it to the other one. So, I said, you know what, might as well throw something online and uh, see if you guys even get any type of information about to give. I'm about to give you. Anyway, uh, let's start off with these four screws. One, two, three, four. We're going to undo these real quick. Now, my opinion, you should have a screw tray, but I do not. So I'm going to have to make sure that I'm very careful uh, undoing these screws. So if you guys are wondering, uh, am I going to get, hey, what's going on, bro? You making any videos? You gotta be making videos soon, my man. Get back into the game. This is a very inexpensive uh, RC to buy. It's around 150 bucks. But man, I must that, that I must be like 600 something dollars in on the upgrades. On both on each, <laughs> not even both, uh, all together. So here we go. It's just like the TRX4, all four screws are out. Diff cover comes out. And you see everything over there. Now, beforehand, I ended up changing these out uh, from bushings to ball bearings. So as you can see, they're silver right now. And yeah, man, I've been busy at work too, man. I started with a new company, so it's been crazy. So you guys are probably wondering, can I take this out? Nope. So now what you're going to have to do is unscrew these bad boys. Well, can I? No, I cannot. So you're going to have to unscrew these uh, two right here and two on the other side. Yeah, the rides were crazy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm having fun with this little RC. Little by little, take your time. Once again, these screws are extremely small. And judging by what I'm seeing, let's go with the old man glasses so I can start seeing a little bit better. Alrighty, here we go. Now I can see a lot better. Still keep on undoing these screws. Alright, and just to give you guys a heads up, these are stainless steel screws. Uh, the stainless steel screw kit is part number 9746X. Which is right here, 9746X. I was about to do the Holland Tunnel. Oh man, you're wilding. All right, so this should be able to slip out. Slip out one, slip out the other. Now, the next piece I want to take off is for the center drive shaft. Well, these are the upgraded drive shafts. So I'm going to screw right here. Everything on this RC, I would say 95% of it is 1.5s. Uh, you are going to be dealing with two, three screws. One of them is going to be the servo, and the other one's going to be what mounts the servo on, and both of those, I believe, are 2.0s. Okay, once again, I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you know where your screws are at. Alrighty, so everything just fell out, as you can see. Pretty simple, just follow the, the guidelines of this, and then you have this other gear. Uh, there's another company, um, Angora and Jura, that's coming out, that came out with um, uh, spiral cut gears, which I can't wait that long to be coming out of God knows where to get those. So let's get these bad boys. Uh, if you guys are interested in knowing the part number on the Metal Gears, it's 9779. And you have the opportunity to get the, it gives you the front and the rear. 
Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. All right. So let's start off with this. Here are the metal gears, as you can see. But now you're going to be running into metal on metal. So what do you want to do? Well, let me take out the bearings out of this one and replace them. Very quick and simple. If you don't have nails, use a small screwdriver. But I have a little bit of nails left. And it goes right there. Now, I don't want to automatically dump them in there. Over here, this piece slides out. There we go. Slides out right here. And I'm going to slide the metal one back in. As you can see, those are ball bearings inside. Somebody's going to make a comment and say spit on it to get into hole. All righty. Here we go. Here's my opinion. I want you to put this back on for the drive shaft. Why? Because this thing starts sliding back and forth, and you don't want to start doing that because what we're going to do right now is that once we put this piece on, I'm going to start greasing it. So, Joe going on everybody's working bro it's just a little bit after five o'clock they're driving home trust you man me me not doing this as much as i used to all my subscribers are gone <laughs> almost all of them all right so i have the metal gear um uh, right in but i do not want to have this mesh up so what am i gonna do this is what I use. This is uh, Grim Racer Speed Grease. Um, this is initially called Marine Grease. It's waterproof. Uh, I've never had any issues having Marine Grease on any of my RCs, and I and I use this religiously. What do I do? Well, uh, Raymond, what's going on? So I take my Marine Grease. I wrap it around. Wrap it around. Why do I wrap it? Well, um, <laughs> well, I do it like that because you have a little, you know, threads that are coming over here. So I don't want that to be in my gears. I put a nice generous glob in there. Look inside. Now, if I was trying to, like, push everything out, if I didn't put that drive shaft in, this thing would be moving all over the place. So let me give it a little bit of a generous amount. It's all good. When you put it in there, look at that. Oh, I really appreciate that, Ray. I really appreciate that. All right. So I greased that bad boy up nicely. You don't have to heavily grease it, but, you know, this is a little RC. So uh, definitely a generous amount I have on this. Now I'm going to slide this back in here. Okay. But I'm not going to... Um, close it up yet because I'm going to go back in get some more grease thank you Joe and just start generously giving it around spinning it spinning it okay some people are going to say, oh, bro, what are you doing? No, no, no. Here we go. It's nice and smooth. You see that? Let me see if I can focus that in. There you go. Just keep spinning it around. See if you're missing any, any little love right there, but I don't think so. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put the cap back on. The cap's back on. Then... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go screw these four screws back in. 
one. Now, you're going to ask, a few people are going to ask me, yo, did I get the center diff? Did I get all this other stuff? Did I get the uh, the brass diff covers? Of course I did, man. My my orange one over there has, has pretty much everything, and stuff is still coming in, so... Stuff is still coming in. Yeah, Joe. Uh, the, the good thing about my channel is everything is always customizing your RC. A little bit tutorials here and there. Um, I've always told people on my channel that when I drive my cars, I usually don't have people film me. I just, you know, upgrade them. Then I'll drive them, and then uh, once I get bored with them, they go up on the shelf. So. Here we go. You don't have to over-tighten it. Let it be nice and snug right here. You're going to wonder, um, today... Uh, I have the screws here. Why do I leave them there? Because it kind of sucks just having them all sitting down over there. So it just gives me the opportunity to, hey, these are where these go at, and then I'll be able to reinstall them. So, And here are the old ones. Uh, the reason why I keep the packaging is I put the old ones in the package and put them away. So let's slide these drive shafts back in there. Little by little, just twist it around. There you go. Let me tell you, these screws are mighty small. The only the only smaller screws that I've seen, uh, even beyond the SCX uh, SCX twenty four, is definitely the Kyosho, the Kyosho Mini. Those screws are next level. You know, I need glasses. On top of the fact that I need um, magnifying stuff for my RCs, I'm getting older. So um, because I'm getting older, my vision is not as good. You know. That's what happens when you start hitting that age. Your vision starts going. You know, somebody on my channel um, sent me a message and they thought I sold every one of my RC cars and that's why I'm doing all these minis trying to get back into it. I have all my RC cars downstairs. Um... They are collecting nuts, exactly. You always want to keep the old screws just in case. Well, you know, as for the old screws, <laughs> mostly, if they're not stainless steel, I will not replace them with anything else. Ray, oh, you were trying to make the 100 mile an hour rustler? You know, it's funny that the rustler, and you know, I've always wished Traxxas gave a lot of props to the people that were doing the 100 mile per hour rustler, you know, because a lot of people who do these 100 mile per hour videos right now have no clue that, you know, the rustler, then the slash, and then all these other things, you know, were coming uh, coming across from, you know, doing the 100 mile per hour uh, rustler. So, yep. So, here we go. So, now... If you're looking at this, I need to, everything's disassembled right here. And this, this gets a little bit tricky because what you have to do is you have to find what goes where. And primarily what I do is I know the top ones go to the top part. So I'll leave that up there, pick up your legs. And then I'll be able to screw this in like this. So little by little, take your time. We're already 14 minutes into this. I try to cut a lot of the time off um, in having it set up before we even got into the video. You know, I took off the wheels and and stuff like that. So a little bit of a time saver, you know. But this does take a little bit of time. You don't have to rush it. Ease up on that. Here we go. 
and that goes on the top of the diff. All right. That's right there. And here we go for the other part of the diff. Let me see. That goes in between. Yes. If you get messed up, just turn it a little. There we go. And now we gotta hold on to this little by little so it doesn't uh, fall over as you're seeing. <laughs> as you're seeing this happening right now, live. Here we go. Take this off, slide you in. Line you up on the first part of it. Dump it right there. Slide it all the way in. Then you start screwing it down. All right. Here we go with the next one. Comes out. Slide it into the shock. Line up your link right there. Slide it up. And then screw it down. All right, so now this is pretty much what it looks like. You guys are going to notice that I have the Brax. Um, so did you, so you did the front? No, this is the rear. This is the, the front is a whole different beast because on the front, you have to take off more components because everything has to be released because you have the Chevro attached. Then you take off these two sides, which are which are very simple, but you have to take them off. As you can see, I have the brass on right now. You turn this all the way to one side. You unscrew this side. You turn the other one to the other side. Then you unscrew that side, and you start working it from that point on. Um, I'm going to start assembling the wheels. If you guys are interested to find out what type of wheels I got, I got the method wheels with the weights inside. Uh, and... These are the Mickey Thompson tires, so everything is all hooked up right there. My other my other orange one has all the Method wheels, Mickey Thompson, all orange parts right now. Brass is going in there. I'm ordering more and more and more and stuff. Uh, skid plate, it's aluminum. The div housing cover is going to be a lot of, a lot of stuff on this one, so... Yeah, I'm. I, it's it's kind of weird. I've never customized uh, two cars, two trucks at the same time, so it does get pricey. Don't don't let these little cars fool you. You pay one hundred and fifty bucks, but you know they they get up in price. You know, I mean, you got the lighting kits. You got you know uh, people are changing out the servos, which I'm going to do that. People are running brushless motors, which I'm going to do in the orange one. I'm going to keep this one as stock as possible because, uh, like, on this one, I have the speed gears and everything like that. So it it definitely takes its toll after a while of uh, stuff that you need to do with this. So this is going to be a, a, a lot more modified than what's on mine right now. So hopefully this video was informative to you. Um, if you guys like the content, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and tell my fellas up on YouTube. Later.